Alexis, now is not the time for petty fogging. <gasps> I am booked up, David. You should see my schedule. I'm positively bedeviled with meetings, etc. I won't be dressing up. Ah, oh, say, don't be a dewdropper. Throw some concealer under those peepers, make like a swell, and go put on the ritz. Oh, don't start without me, you little frippet. You don't have the media training. A little bird chirped in my ear about your singing group. Oh, you mean the Jazzagals? Yes. At first, I wondered aloud, why would a competitive vocal group not reach out to a trained chanteuse? Oh, we're just a group of gals. Exactly. Okay, how many of you beautiful young things have a background in the theater? Raise your swords. Alexis, I would be absolutely Glee ridden if you would have lunch with me. Ronnie, Ronnie, might you and I confabulate for a moment in the back room? No, nope, Moira, I'm not falling for that one. Hmm. After a glut of Unasinous ideas put forth today, the room is suddenly bombulating with anticipation. Can we feel that? David, blame me. Oh, I do. Patrick was about to slip away with the signatures when I corralled him into a little lunchtime chin wag. Okay, how did I not know that you worked at a Rose video? Well, let's hope that you continue to surprise each other. It keeps the relationship titillating. Okay, please never say titillating when referring to my relationship. Mm, can I, though? What you did was impulsive, capricious, and melodramatic. But it was also wrong. Okay, you'll remember the experience, and you'll remember the name. Herb Irvlinger. Bert Herngeif. Irv Herblinger. Bing Livehanger. You regret that embarrassing photos of you aren't online? No, I regret that they're lost. They were the one perfect memorial to who I once was. And I should have appreciated those firm round mammae and calipigeon ass while I had them. Oh, what a startling little tannin bomb. Jocelyn? Did you know that rehearsal, it can be the most enlightening and even heuristic exercise? What are you saying? 